has been uh, rapid changes in environmental conditions over the past 100 years. Climate change is one of them, but we also have seen an increase of invasive species, um, habitat loss, uh, overexploitation, land degradation, and all of that has shaped uh, the recent decline in biodiversity captured by many indices. The last time the Earth came out of an ice age was an extremely rapid temperature rise. That was that spike I showed you on the first slide. Today it's, it's, up, it's moving now at 20 times faster than that. There are significant changes happening in our oceans. So our ocean absorbs around 80% of the additional heat that we put in the atmosphere and around 50% of the carbon that we put in the atmosphere. Climate change is changing the temperature of the oceans. It's um, expanding it um, through thermal expansion, causing sea level rise. Um, temperature is changing. Uh, temperature and winds and a whole heap of other factors uh, driving circulation changes and then the chemistry is changing. A lot of these mechanisms and processes span vast scales um, and also uh, different fields of study. But there is a relatively young field, we don't know a lot about um, the effects of climate on species interactions, but the first kind of synthesis studies are starting to come up. So migratory species challenge us to develop new strategies, new approaches uh, that are as dynamic as the patterns of their movements. And by doing this, we can also think about adapting to annual conditions and climate change, and also uh, using these strategies to bolster and complement the existing protected areas network that also humans are part of these ecosystems and we uh, are quite vulnerable at times. I, I'll bring you the messages from our network of Inuit people, Siberian Chukchi, Evenk, the Finnish, the Sami and many other local communities in the Arctic and in the North who are facing a lot of these changes. My research started out, I was, and still does, focus on a fairly simple question. Why is a species in a place and not in another place? The question we, we, we ask generally is, as climate change, should species uh, stay or go? Models form a pretty integral part in the way that we synthesise and understand the natural world. Another 75 million tonnes of fish is going to be required to provide 20% of global dietary protein by 2050. There's actually a lot of optimism that, that that fish can actually be produced through aquaculture. We still haven't worked out how far we're willing to go into a brave new world where everything looks different and how, how much we're willing to do to keep the species. Hopefully if, if the policy talk is followed by policy action, we can actually continue to have the biodiversity that we've enjoyed on Earth. Thank you.